la cintura. Uh -huh. okay. Ya está, ya está soldado eso. Ok, ya más soldas esto, esto, y luego ya, you know. Uh, if you have an opening, you know, if you got a pipe flashing that's really big on top, okay, you're gonna fold it like that. Well, the inside of this, best you can. But make sure you leave about a quarter inch gap around it so you can put your gun inside oh, cocking. Okay. Exactly. Okay? So, no es necesario tratar de soldarla que quede. No, no, deja un cuarto de pulgada acá arriba. Okay. Puedes soldarle aquí sí, porque hay, hay puntas que son más delgadas también. Mm -hmm. You guys got the, uh, the, yeah, got the, the, the yeah. smaller tips? Okay. So you can use the smaller ones to get inside there and weld, you know, close it up like that. Okay? Just don't burn yourself, obviously. Okay? Pero dejo un cuarto de pulgada para que pueda meter la cocking gun. Okay? Y si te fijas, es como aquí llega, la línea llega acá arriba. A mí, a veces la puedes doblar más, la puedes, esto es, este, cerrarlo, sí, puedes tratar de cerrarlo más si quieres, ok? Pero la cosa es que esta parte es lo crítico. Esta aquí. Ok, lo más importante, porque si no lo sale eso, es donde va a tener problemas. Any questions? Preguntas? Yeah, what do you say in English? I'm, I I missed half of that. Yeah, I say that part is critical. You make sure you weld that portion first, ok? You always want to weld from the corner, from the corner out, ok? Always from the corner out. It's like when you're doing a wall. Okay? You know, I show you guys that when you do the wall, you do the pig ear. Okay? You start from the corner and then go work your way out. Okay? Don't work into the corner because you're going to short yourself. Yeah. You know, you start doing the bottom and then you do the tack the top without making sure that the middle is, is going to reach. And now you're going to have a gap. And then you try and put a patch on something like that. It's impossible. You know? Okay. Um, on the welds, uh, you gotta make sure you have at least an inch and a half weld. Okay. So if you have a wrinkle that starts like an inch, and technically you're supposed to put a patch on. Okay. If I if I check it, it's a good seam. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. But if it's down to like three quarters of an inch, half an inch, ah, put a patch. Okay. All right. Si tiene arrugas, una membrana, okay, y tiene aire, okay. Obviamente, a veces no soldean todo lo que es el área aquí sí o los cintas de la de la membrana. Okay. Si hay una arruga y tiene aire ahí que siga donde va, está está abierto abajo. Este, si esa arruga está de una pulgada hacia adentro, realmente se requiere un patch, porque la, el mínimo que buscamos es una pulgada y media de sudadura, ok, ya que chequeé el sim y, y esa pulgada está, ese sim está bien, entonces no va a preocupar mucho, pero ya que si está a tres cuartos, media pulgada, nada, no todo va a pasar, ok, así que le tengo que poner patch en eso, ok. Todos los parches y los cortes, ya, sí. Seis pulgadas, seis pulgadas, mínimo, mínimo, seis pulgadas. Hay veces que tienen que puedes hacer uno chiquito, depende de lo que encuentre en la inspección. Por ejemplo, yo he visto lugar gente que le pongan parches aquí porque obviamente le quedó arrugado y quedó aire o algo así. Hay veces que le ponen un parche chico, entonces eso lo pasa. Yeah, so minimum size of the patch, six inches, what we want to see. Around the corners, it can be okay. I see a lot of guys, you know, get a little round template, you know, a little round patch and make circles and make circles. Okay, you're gonna waste your time. Don't do that. Cut them squares around the corners. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, don't waste your time making a bunch of little things. Besides, you're gonna you throw away a lot of membrane. Okay, so uh, six inches is what we want to see, but sometimes they'll look. I'll see that people will weld these and they get a little bit of an air pocket. They go, oh man, I gotta put a patch on. Okay. Technically, it ain't, it ain't supposed to. Okay, because it's not an inch and a half weld. Okay. But like what I said earlier, inch, if you give me a good inch, I'll let it go. 
So obviously here, half inch here, half inch there, okay? Yeah. Fairly minimum. Yeah, you did all the casting and all that anything. Yeah, it's gonna be almost impossible, okay? But uh, some guys are really good. I uh, you know, I mean, they, they can, I mean, they, they got no damn feeling in their thumbs because they're doing this, you know? But, if, you know, if you try to put a small patch there, and if it's a good weld, I may let it go, okay? So, but, uh, you know, the thing is, is you gotta make sure to do that. Now, obviously, in the bottom piece on this one here, you gotta run this corner because this is, this is gonna be on top, okay? I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, the bottom one, you don't have to. If it's gonna, if it's gonna, it's gonna see, okay? Okay, so. Questions, preguntas? No. The thing is, the crucial part is to start from the middle out. If you start from the, see how I lined up the hands, mm -hmm. make sure I'm pushing in, and you can see how it reaches the top. So, I mean, you know, you know it's going to reach there. But, if, uh, you know, sometimes I uh, see people just start welding and then welding, come to the middle. And next thing you know, they're short. Yeah, and it's like gap in there. Exactly. And then, uh, and then you can see there's a wrinkle. You can see that the mom, the bottom piece of membrane is further down than the, the, the one on top. The one on top is, should follow the same. You know, the the brand is stretched out. The brand is stretched out. Yeah. Stretch, yeah. Stretch. yeah. And I know you guys are used to doing like CPOs or other stuff that have detailed membrane. Okay. They stretch and they can do it. Uh -uh. We don't have detailed membrane. <coughs> Oh, inside is bigger. Como dije yo, esto no necesita la esquina. O sea, no más doblado. Doblado y más que lo de la lo que lo doble está adentro. Tiene que su parte de soldar la pulgada de media antes de que lo soldes abajo en el centro o para arriba, depende cómo va a ser la rueda. Pero si no gana la pulgada de media, entonces es un impacto. The question was on the, on the corners, on the inside corners of the walls, okay? I showed you, uh, all you guys saw the pig ear, that area, the, the, the skirt of the membrane, uh, you know, comes around the corner there. You cut the, the bottom of the tab, the fastening tab, so it can allow it to fold in, okay? Then you fold up the membrane and put the pig ear, almost like what you guys did right there, okay? And you gotta make sure, yeah, like that. And so you gotta make sure that when you do that, the inside fold, put your gun inside, weld an inch and a half first, okay? Now, it's, it's good to have maybe a piece of cardboard so you can put it underneath so that when you get the heat gun in there, it's not going to weld down to the bottom bit. Yeah. So do that, carry a piece of cardboard with you, a little quarter inch plywood, whatever it is. You know, metal, whatever. Something's not going to, you know, transfer the heat down to the bottom membrane that quickly. And then weld that portion first, and then weld the whole thing down, you know? So, and if obviously that, that, you know, make sure you get that inch and a half inside that fold, you know. If you can't get that inch and a half in the fold, okay. then put a patch on. Okay. Another thing, you guys get corners, outside corners. Yeah. Well, can you finish welding that uh, piece right there? Why? Because I want it all the way down so the guys can see, because Felipe was showing us different techniques. Uh -huh. On, uh, we're trying to start at the base of the pipe and work our way out. Instead of just doing the outside and letting it free float. Look at the angle of where he's uh, holding his roller.
So you just tack it down like that to make sure it's nice and uh, yeah. smooth. Now I see a lot of guys, uh, you know, you can, you know they, they, they'll tack down the whole area with their hand. That's fine. You know, they can do all that, you know, do this, you know. And, you know, a lot of companies, a lot of people like to see the whole thing flat so it looks nice and pretty. You know, you get all those bubbles. That's fine. Okay. All we were looking for, and other people just do the inch and a half, which is fine as well. It's just that the other way looks nice. But it's up to you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna score you bad. I'm not gonna take points at all if you just do the inch and a half. Because mm -hmm. all we're looking for is that inch and a half. Okay. But detail wise, it looks nice when you look at a roof and it's like okay. it's all nice and tight. You know, it looks pretty. So now, also, when you're welding, that inch and a half. Um, I see a lot of guys that are so used to doing the. Uh, they're so used to doing the. Uh, they're so used to doing TPOs that they're doing really quickly. Okay. All right. You don't have to. Don't have to. I think I told you guys. You know, when I was training you guys, here you take your time. You know, do nice long strokes and watch it. Smash out. Bleed okay. Out. Bleed out. Yeah. And the thing, the key is, the roller, if you stop it, if you stop it right there, you're not past the edge. Okay, you gotta go past the edge. So don't stop at the edge, go past the edge. If you stop it before the edge, you're not gonna get a good bond. And that's what I see a lot of companies do. Okay, is that I'll see a bunch of lifts, you know? And they're not cold wells because the, the inside portion's okay, but it's just a full load of lifts, okay? Thing is, and they also do TPOs and the sonic fills and whatever. So they're so used to just doing, you know, little little quickly fast ones. Okay. Take your time. Do nice long strokes. Okay. You're not 18 year old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? I tell you that. <laughs> okay. Another bunch of young kids, man. Take your time. All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. Nice, easy, long strokes. Okay. Poquito. Okay. Now, so when you stop welding. Lift it up, okay? Lift it up right there, because you took the heat up, okay? Now that air is weak. Pull it up, okay? It'll look like it's tacked down, but it's not. Yeah, exactly, okay? The thing is that when you stop, lift it up, okay? Because that way, the, 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 as soon as you pull the heat away, okay, it starts to cool off, okay? Yep, very much same thing, okay? So do that, all right? So you want to have somebody else uh, yeah. do some welding in front of you? No air block, right I'm sorry? I'll have to have an air block. Okay. Okay. So what'd you tell him? Oh, further out. out. That's what further I thought. Cause that's roller. Okay. And obviously when you get the some smoke coming out, then you know you're getting a good weld. Yeah. Okay, hey Seuss, let somebody else finish that. You pick them. Pick the guy you want. <laughs> I want to see the Joey's and the Roberts and even on the uh, berry mat. If you remember right when we done that up there, uh -huh. the back of 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 the back yeah. Yeah. The Veramat, the thing about the Veramat is you have to take perform 